So Murdoch Hill is here in Oatbank in the Adelaide Hills, part of the Mount Lofty Ranges. Uh, we have a high elevated region around 400 metres and we gain about 700 mils of rainfall a year. Coming very much from a winemaking background, I was sort of forced onto the, onto the farm to manage the cattle, manage the vineyards and um, what I really noticed was a decline in, in health in the vineyard. The, um, the diversity under, in the soil profile was um, pretty bleak. There was literally just moss growing on the top, which is one of the most primitive forms of life. And um, I guess that led me in the direction of wanting to change things. So one of the first things I did was on our 20 hectare vineyard start block by block reducing our glyphosate rate. And then today, you know, we're completely glyphosate free. Um, and you know, there's a lot involved in, in a vineyard to do that just because of the intricacies of the row and, and um, you know, a vine every 1.5 metres. So we had to get specialist equipment to, to be able to achieve this. So we do um, what I call a light cultivation, which is literally just cutting underneath the grasses to suppress their growth. Um, and we've also just invested in a new uh, multi-cleaner or mowing type piece of equipment, which um, does two rows at a time. And, um, you know, 20 hectares are quite a bit to manage in, in this sort of approach. And then this sort of led into a more organic spray program as well with our fungicide applications, just using organic copper and sulfur, not using any systemic uh, chemicals in, in that spray program. And then I guess, you know, having this approach in the vineyard really led us to, and you know, farming the cattle, we, we graze 150 um, cows, 300 head. and. Um, I want for that's black Angus for, for beef and yeah just wanted to you know with my readings into this organic approach started leading into some of the farming practices and this you know very much um, regenerative farming technique and we were splitting our mob, mobs up in, into age groups and we had three or four different mobs of cows and um, you know the, the paddocks were grazed down pretty hard and so we switched only 18 months ago to a more herd grazing technique and bringing all those cows together in one big mob um, and having a seven year rotation where we have one paddock that's um, high intensive grazing and then on the other extreme a Sabbath paddock which is left spare for that season. Um, and having, yeah, far, I guess less time in paddocks but more intensive and putting more manure and um, you know bringing life into that soil and the results that we've seen has been quite remarkable. Some of the specific things um, you know, that we're doing in the vineyard you know, to improve that holistic approach is bring, introducing cover crops. Um, you were using rye corn and vetch and all sorts of different species together to um, have root penetration, um, open up the, the soils a bit more and then we break that down and incorporate that back into the soil because we don't use synthetic fertilisers. Um, so that helps bring that organic matter back up. And we're also doing cover crops, strip cover crops with pollinating mixes. So um, that's bringing a lot more flowers and bringing all the different insects into, the, um, into that integrated plan to you know, fight against some of the pests and diseases that, that can um, strike a vineyard. So what we're doing here is we're cultivating knifing under vine. And we're basically cutting a little slither like that. And that just suppresses that growth without excessive cultivation and leaves the soil intact to break down and earthworms and other things still are active in there. Um, I guess why do we think this is important? I mean we want to establish this this business, this property, this farm um, you know to sustain for many more generations. As I mentioned that we're third generation here um, we want a constant improvement of the land and to the, the health of the land um, and, and build something that's sustainable for the future. You just cut that there at yeah. the end. <laughs> <laughs> right.